Are you in that place in your business where you're just trying to decide what your business model is or maybe who your ideal client is? Well, I'm Donna Smithers, Certified Law of Attraction Trainer and Business Coach, also a Certified Discover Your Sacred Gifts Guide. If you're not sure what your purpose is here, we can I can help you find that out. But what I wanted to talk about today is something that is extremely important and once you get this concept, this principle, I think you're going to find it's going to be a little bit life-changing. And this is what it is. Let's say that your business is over here or the client that you, what you want to have is way over here, but in reality what you have is here. So you can see this space in between, there's a gap. So there's a gap from what you want and there's and the gap is created because what you have right now is what you don't want. So one of the tools that we use in the law of attraction is called a clarity through contrast worksheet. It's a great tool because it really helps you get clear on what you want. So that I would say whatever you're feeling the most angst about right now, the thing that's maybe stressing you out the most, that's the thing to tackle right now. So what I'd like you to do is just on a piece of paper, uh, take a piece of paper, plain piece of paper like that, just fold it in half, and down one side we're going to write my ideal whatever. So you could do business or um, business relationship, strategic alliance, referral, whatever it is you're looking for. So we're going to call this the contrast side. So at the top, we're writing down what we desire, but then we're going to do the contrast. So if you're thinking about, let's say, strategic alliances or affiliates or whatever, because that's ways, other ways to make money when you're not actually doing something. So what would you not want? So let's say it's my ideal. Let's just say client for the sake of um, simplicity for today. So let's, all the things you don't want. So you don't want someone that doesn't respect you. You don't want someone that... Uh, doesn't want to pay you on time. You don't want someone that's going to argue about your prices. You don't want someone who will not show up for your appointments. You also don't want someone that's disrespectful. And you certainly don't want someone that um, criticizes what you're doing or uh, doesn't matter what your business is. If they're constantly um, telling you what you're doing wrong. You don't want clients like that. So then what we do on the other side of that, so opposite, where we said, well, we don't want someone that doesn't respect us. So you're going to do what's called your clarity list. And it's at, again, at the top, it's going to be my ideal. And let's say we're just working on a client. You can do this for anything. So you're going to ask yourself, what do I want? Well, let's go. We want someone that's going to respect us. We want someone that's going to pay on time. or We want someone that never questions our pricing. In fact, they might even say something, is that all it is? And you go, well, you know, um, for now, that's it is. Okay, right? So we're happy that that uh, client is accepting the pricing that we're doing because uh, pricing, you know, having the right price point in business is, is critical. That could be a whole other topic, but um, not going there right now, right? So you're going to go down and you're going to get your clarity side of things. So once you get to that, then when you've written on your paper, and let's say these are all the things you don't want, and you've crossed each one of those out, then what I want you to do is I always just fold mine over. So what I've got are, is the list of things that I do want. And I actually put it up um, in my office. You can see I've kind of got a vision board behind me, but I have another one that I'm facing. And I'll put up, that up there, and I'll look at it every single day until I manifest the type of client that I want. And just be aware, you're going to lose some clients. Yeah. I know I'm telling you how to attract clients, but I'm telling you what, you're going to lose some clients. And those clients, let them go. Release them. If they're not the right client, you don't want, you don't want someone that drags you down. You don't want someone that's criticizing what you're doing. You don't, let's say you're a coach like me, 
and you pick up the phone and you're just thinking, oh, I don't really want to talk to this person today. Let that client go. They're not a good fit for you. And by doing that, I even create file folders that say new client. I have it on my Outlook. It says new client and all of that. So play with it a bit and just appreciate the all the great clients that you do have. But know that a few may drop off and if they do, that's just fine because you're creating space for other ones. I hope that tip was helpful. And please, join the community, get engaged, post your comments, your success stories. We all want to hear them because we inspire other women by telling them our success stories.